Hey, what's up guys welcome back to mtech viral and welcome to the second premiere of my mtech viral flutter tutorials and uh, i have made this premieres you know to um, actually have those guys who are starting with flutter or who wants to learn about different widgets and how to use them in a pro uh, in, in a project so that's what i am targeting and first of all happy diwali to you and your family and uh, the second thing is that uh, um, i actually did a giveaway in uh, the last game of thrones video so the result will be announced very soon i actually wanted to announce it like uh, two days back but uh, the thing is that i am going to usa so today i am tonight i will be uh, going to usa and there i will meet flutter team and i uh, will do something good for uh, the viewers of this channel so don't worry about that so the giveaway result will be coming very soon and uh, this video is kind of a successor to the uh, game of thrones app i guess i mean that's not exactly a successor but uh, you know um, the things which we did uh, in that video we'll try to improve those things as well we'll try to cover new widgets as well and uh, sorry for the background noise if you hear some because uh, this is diwali time and uh, there are a lot of noise around here so um the main thing is that I want to deliver a video before going to USA so that's why I'm doing it and uh, I hardly get time these days so that's that's another thing so what we are going to make is a uh, another quiz application and uh, in this application there are a few things which I will cover so it's again a beginner video but um, there are a lot of things which will be covered and uh, don't worry if you are looking for advanced content because I am making some advanced content as well and uh, those uh, content will be available just after I'll, I'll come back to India from USA so I'm, I'm thinking in that way but uh, it things will take some time okay so let me just show you the application which i am making so this is quiz application uh, where you can see it is fetching some data and now we have some list of questions okay so the idea of socialism was art articulated and advanced by whom okay and there is there are some tags that this question is based uh, from history or something and the uh, level of this question is easy as you can see these tags and also on the left hand side this is right uh, this is written as capital m which means that this is a multiple choice question if uh, c there is also b which means this is a boolean question so pointers were not used in the original c programming language they were added later on in c++ is it true or is it false so when you will click on this expanded menu you will get two options and this question will be highlighted and now you have two um, options true or false so if i'll click true here or false so let's click false because false is the right answer so you'll see this green um uh, the label turns green and now uh, if you click some some uh, wrong answer like true then the uh, label actually turns uh, red so um this is how you you are gonna uh, check your answer so if you can just which essential uh, condiment is also known as japanese ho horseradish I don't know about the answer so if you'll click something like this crash it is the wrong answer ponju means you all the all are the wrong answer that means the right answer is wasabi so this is how I add this is uh, re regarding general knowledge and the medium uh, is the level of the question so this is how um, we will make this and once again if you will click it then the answers are gone so there can be a lot of uh, improvements after this video as well but uh, this is the general idea and let me just show you suppose we don't have internet connection and now if i will open this app let me just kill it uh, one second guys um, so let's say this is our app let's kill this and now let's open this so you'll see that you'll get some uh, error here they try again this is socket exception or something like that so that you can understand that there's, there's some problem if i'll press it again then you can see things are not changing exactly now if i'll just turn on my wi-fi and uh, we'll try to do it again so this they, there is some uh, quick demonstration about uh, how app works so that's why it is taking some time so please be with me now i'll press try again and you can see it is fetching some data and now we have the data who is batman okay it is um, the question from entertainment comics and it is easy and now tony stark clark kent barry and bruce wayne we all know this is bruce wayne so i'll just click bruce wayne and it is the right answer if i click barry allen it is wrong 
Clark and Tony Stark all are wrong. Similarly, if I'll press something here, this is right, unfortunately, but uh, I don't know. I, I, I didn't even read the question. So this is how uh, there are like 20 questions in one go. And one more thing which I felt uh, I should cover. If you will just swipe from the top, then it ha also has a refresh indicator, which will refresh the questions. So let's see. Yeah, questions has been uh, refreshed. Now, which of these stars is the largest? Science and nature is the uh, category of the questions and uh, the level is medium so um, from these I don't know the answer so let's just uh, let's say this now this is wrong this is the right answer so uh, this is the app what we are going to build so let's build it so I'll be using uh, Visual Studio Code whatever you say I mean Visual Studio Code is always good so um, we'll press here flutter new project and uh, I'm gonna name it quiz app again and then I can just select the mobile from here and then I guess select a folder to create the project in and this is how we will build this project for the first time it will take some time please be with me uh, by that time and now we are almost done okay so and also I'll tell you what kind of um, API I would be using so um i'll just tell you that also so there's an api which i'm going to use so i'll just open my google chrome also want to tell you that we also have a facebook group which you would like to join because there you can ask your questions it is not very easy for me to answer your questions on youtube so this this is where uh, there are a lot of questions as you can see from different people so you can ask those questions now uh, I'll just open the API which I would be using for fetching the questions. Um, second, okay. Open DB uh, is the uh, OpenDB.com. It should be slash API dot PHP. And now we can also specify the amount, I guess, which is uh, let's say twenty questions we want. And if I'll just run it, oh, this is a problem. There's a problem okay so it should be open to db right uh, and now let's see if we got the questions yes we got the questions so um uh, this is the questions and uh, some answers and difficulty and all those things we are getting from this api so i'll be um, directly using this so we have now the app also running here so just to open let me open this simulator here and let me just increase the size a little bit now uh, what i'm going to do i'm not going to explain what it is all about on uh, these folders and everything so you just have to bear with me for that so i'll just delete all of the code then we'll start from the scratch so uh, first of all i will import the material library which you already know and then we have this uh, void main okay where i'll just use this run app method where i'll specify my app and currently I am using um, the 0.10.2 version of Flutter which just released yesterday and it is the beta version so now uh, I'll just make another class STLES stateless class my app okay cool and here we will do nothing fancy just the same thing material app and inside it we can give some colors or a home page so for home we can directly say home page okay we will make this page and we will say that we don't want the banner so we'll make it false now inside the theme i'm going to do something with this theme i'm going to give it a primary color which will be colors dot white because as if you have seen the theme uh, should be a little bit uh, whitish maybe okay now this home page we have to make okay and i'm going to make this home page a stateful widget because not because um, i am going to fetch some data in the init state which i did in um, game of thrones application but uh, here in this tutorial we'll use future builder but to support the um, refresh uh, uh, indicator or you can say swipe to refresh or pull to refresh we will use a stateful widget we can improve it for sure we can also do it with the stateless widget but uh, for the uh, level of complexity we want it to be easy so that's why i am using stateful widget by default and i will just say it home page 
okay so this is very cool this is very clear so far right and now um we will rather than this container we will use something called a scaffold okay which provides a structure and inside that we will use the app bar property in the app bar section we have a title where in the text we can just say this is a quiz app this is fine now um, regarding the elevation we don't want to give any elevation so that's it and in the body section just use a container so now i will run this application and we'll see what output we are getting with this application so far so the idea is that you know um, i will be showing you the use of future builder how to properly use it and because it's a kind of a good widget which uh, flutter gives you future builder stream builder in fact all the builder widgets are kind of very important or very uh, useful in any of the project uh, any flutter project so as you can see in, on this screen now we have this quiz app which looks very good it has this white action bar but the um, the body is a little bit uh, grayish if you can see in the video uh, but in the emulator you will definitely see it or in the uh, whatever you are going to use okay so now uh, we want some data so we have to do something for that data so we'll go back to our chrome and this is the data which we are getting so we'll just see the raw data from here and now i will open this another tool json to dart which is made by someone it can, it is very good you can use json serialization um, um scripts which actually generate that particular model class for you that's your choice but for the simplicity of this project i will going to uh, i will be going to use json to dart and it actually works pretty well for me and for others as well it will work so this is a good tool and here i will paste that json which we are getting from the api and we are not using private fields but you can use that and we will just say generate dart and it will generate um, this particular uh, code for me which is kind of good it will work for me i guess and uh, yeah i guess i guess it is enough for me okay so what i'm going to do i am just going to uh, copy this all code and and i can go back to this api so that i can see what we have so now i'll go back to visual studio code and here we will make a new file in the leaf folder which we will call quiz.dart okay and inside that i will paste this code now um <clears throat> this code as you can see we have a, the results field and the response code which is by default zero which we are getting on the success and the results are a set of uh, some fields which is a list basically with the class results and now this auto generator does not feel good to me especially so i'm gonna rename it so let's rename it with something uh, actually i just want to change the color here it's not looking good yeah this one okay so let's change the auto generator to let's say quiz okay and this is now looking good and uh, this is the code i don't find very um useful to actually uh, uh, tell you all these things so um basically the idea is that uh, you have this class quiz where you have some fields and then you have a constructor named constructor then you are um, uh, using this from json quiz dot from json uh, constructor where you are actually mapping all those things and uh, then we have two json so this is for serialization and deserialization and this is what we have just copying it uh, pasting it here so uh, we are doing nothing else apart from that now we have results class where we have category type of uh, the question difficulty of the question what is the question the correct answer and all the incorrect answers so if you see this question for first one uh, or maybe let's take some other question um yeah in computing terms this is the question typically what does cli stand for okay now uh, you can see type is multiple and difficulty is medium and category is science computers correct answer is command line interface and incorrect answers are common language input control line interface and common language interface so what we want we just don't want the incorrect answers we want all the options including this correct answer as well okay and then we want to shuffle that so that uh, you know any uh, out of these four any can be right answer so how we will do that so right now if you'll see our um, this model class then we have a correct answer and we have some incorrect answers 
so what we are going to do will change this incorrect answer to all answers okay so rather than fetching the incorrect answers which we are fetching we will um this is this is supposed to be the same what we are going to do here when we are fetching this um incorrect answers we actually in the all answer we will add this correct answer okay so the advantage would be that rather than getting the incorrect answers we will add the correct answer as well but the thing is that if we will leave it like this then every fourth answer will be the correct one because in this incorrect answer we are getting three answers every time and this fourth answer which is the correct answer we are adding at the end so every time we will fetch this data the fourth answer will be the correct one we don't want to do that because we actually want to implement a quiz game where any of the four answers can be correct so what you have to do you have to just use all answers dot shuffle so what it will do it will shuffle those answers okay and this will give you the best result which we want right and apart from that everything is almost the same now let's go back here and we have the quiz app ready okay and now what i want to do is um we will make a method here on the top in the state class that future uh void okay no void should be there and we will name it fetch questions okay so that we have a future from where we will fetch the questions it will be a synchronous method and here we will um, retrieve the response so before that we need an http library for that so we will say http https dot as http and now using this http we will fetch the response okay i'm not going to tell you about async await this time for that you can watch my video and this is a going to be a get request so i have to specify the url here so um we don't have the url right now right so what we have to do we can um what we can do so we'll just copy and paste from the url or maybe if you want you can just uh, uh make a string over here and you can do that okay now we have this we have the response now what we want we actually want to um decode it so we can say decoded response how we will get it get that so if you don't know what i am doing then you should watch my um uh what 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 we call it uh game of thrones video okay uh, here i have actually explained everything so um this is something something a little bit step further from this game of thrones video so that's what we want okay now we have to decode it so for that we need to import dart convert okay and uh, it will give me this json decode method here and i can provide the source which can be rest.body okay and and what i'm going to do now whatever data i will get okay i'll print that data first of all okay okay that's fine and now um i also want to make a variable of that quiz class which we just made i need to import it and i'll just call it uh, maybe quiz okay now this quiz has some results right so we can just use results results okay this is fine and now um this looks good i guess and uh, in this section we can after printing it we can just say quiz is equal to quiz dot from json and we can provide the json which is our decoded response and this is the map values key and value pairs right and now um, we have this now in the result section we can just say quiz dot results and this is how we will fetch the results here so this is fine now uh, if i'll just uh, see this this is still blank because we don't have anything in the body yet so now what we are going to do in the body section we are going to use a future builder okay so what it will do this future builder is actually it accepts few things it expects uh, 
a builder where you will specify what kind of widget you want to use then you will specify a future from where the future data is coming by uh, for that we already made a method right initial data if you want to give something so first of all we will specify the future which is the fetch questions right this is our future so this is future because this method is supposed to return this future which can it can be wide or void or uh, whatever you want to use but this is what we have right and now uh, after that what we want um now um there can be many cases right so for the builder part uh, it, it accepts two parameters one is the context so I'll just say uh, let me just write it build context context and then it also takes us a, a sync snapshot okay so let me just see if we got something like that okay it looks good and in this part what we want to show so now this future builder gives us the information of the connection state okay so you can just use a switch case here and you can say oh wait a second switch okay and now using this snapshot dot connection state so what you can do you can actually um, fetch the information about the connection state so what are the those situations so let's say first case would be if the connection state is none that means nothing actually happened till now so what you can say you can say return a text as a widget saying that uh, press button to start although we don't have the button yet but the idea is uh, that you can use it right so that is the idea another case can be if the uh, connection state is active if it is active then you don't have to do anything right another case can be um, the, if the connection state is waiting if it is active you will move further and you will check whether it is waiting or it is uh, done or not okay so if it is waiting what we want we want to return um, let's say something like this return in the center a circular progress indicator which you already seen in the demo right if you didn't then just go back okay and uh, this will actually do a lot of work for us right so uh, this looks good to me especially okay this is fine now um after this we will have another case which is connection state dot done which means whatever you were performing that is done now there can be two more cases like if it is done then either you got the error or you got the data so we have to check for that so what we can do we can say if snapshot dot uh, um, has error okay so you have two properties like has data has error whatever you want to use so I am using has error then what you can do return some error widget so let's say it is a container again we will replace this with some uh, sensible widget okay and uh, what else if if that is not the case then you can say you want to return a question list okay we'll make this widget so this is fine right this is and if nothing is uh, like this is happening then uh, you can just return null in the end okay so this is our um, this container list now let's say let's replace this question with some container with some text that data arrived okay and now let's do a hot restart and in the terminal we will see the debug console that we got some data or not let's just refresh it and just perform a hot restart and you will just watch the debug console as well there is a circle indicator and we got this data arrived okay and uh, here we have this flutter response with response code results and everything so everything is working good so far right so this is this current scenario and again uh, sorry for the background noise if you're getting something because um, I cannot control that right now so data is arrived and let's say if we want to check this error case we'll do it later because um, that is still a waste of time right now so we'll do that later now just uh, rather than using this data arrived we want to use something sensible so we will use a questions list uh, so uh, let me just name it something like a question list and then we will make this widget as well 
okay so after this build method oh maybe what i can do this is the build one yes so after this build let me just make another uh, list view which will be questions list okay question list that looks good and here i will return a list view dot builder okay so if you don't know about list view dot builder then again this is the same thing it will take an item count first of all how many items gonna be there so we will use this results now and we will ask for its length okay and then it also takes an item builder which takes a context and an index okay and we are going to use it and we will display a card here and in the card uh, let's make something like uh, in oh no card it has a color property let's make it white then it has some elevation let's make it 0, 0.0 and then it takes a child now uh, we will use an expansion type okay so because what we want we want to expand our widget so that we can show some answers right so let's just refresh this and uh, let's see what's what we get oh we are getting some error because of this expansion tile i believe so now um what we want to show okay so we have this title property let's see what it is what is required so title is required for sure so in the title what we can say we can use a column why a column because um what we want to show we want to show um the um the data like um, the question as well as some uh, chips right if you remember so if you'll see we have these expansion tiles now <laughs> and uh, we don't have any data we have just these tiles which works perfectly now in the column section it takes some children's correct and um, um, in the main axis alignment let's make it a space evenly and in this cross axis alignment let's make it start okay in the children's section first of all we want to show a question so we can just use a text widget in the data part we will use this results results will provide the index and we can just ask for question okay and now if i will just refresh it we got the questions right it's looking good but not that good which we made actually in the demo and now we can give it some styling as well so let's give it some style let's give it a text style we can just uh, give it a font size maybe let's make it 18.0 which is good i guess and uh, now give it a weight so font weight dot bold okay now let's refresh it and let's see what we got oh this is what we got right this is looking much better now now um in the um, after text we what we want to use we want to use a row maybe okay so that in the row we can actually use um, oh this is something is wrong oh there's a problem okay now we are using row so that we can use our uh, chips for showing the category of this question and also the complexity of this question right so um, in the row part, what I am gonna use, I am gonna give it a main axis alignment dot uh, maybe space between this time, and uh, then in the children section, we will use a filter chip. Okay, you can use one, whatever chip you want, but I am using a filter chip, and let's give it a background color. Um, let's give it a gray color with the hundred and then it also takes a label which is the must field and in the text portion it we can provide results okay then the index okay and then the category oh this is looking good and now in the on selected it accepts a boolean but we don't want to select this chip because there's nothing no use of that so you can either use a normal raw chip this is totally your choice now you can see we have this chip which is saying entertainment comma music okay for the first question then it is for second it is geography and then entertainment music film general knowledge and all these things now we want to use another chip okay so what i will do first off and let's just copy this and paste it okay so that we can have another chip rather than category this time we will show the difficulty 
so I have just said difficulty and now uh, it looks good oh there is this uh, gap all uh, uh, like a, a good gap now I don't want to do this so let me just uh, um, wrap this row because there can be have a lot of things so just I'm wrapping this row with the fitted box so that uh, it can fit inside and now I should get yeah this is looking good now what I want we, I want to give some gap between them so I'll use the sized box again and these are some of the widgets which I wanted to cover I'll just give it a width of 10 and you can see now we will have the gap yes this is looking good and every time it is doing a refresh it is actually refreshing the questions if you can see okay everything is looking much better now now um, in this expansion tile we have this title okay now um, after the title we can use this leading for showing this circle avatar okay and we will give it a background color of this gray color again okay with the hundred value and in the child we want to show if the text uh, of if the type is multiple then uh, we will show um, so if, if I'll just show you the raw data here you can see difficulty is medium uh, type is multiple either it is multiple or it is uh, let me see if we have another type of question oh it is not there so let me just refresh it again uh as you can see we have boolean right this is type is boolean so uh, two type of questions we have so i'll just check if results and we will specify the index dot type okay so if it starts with m okay so this is what i am checking that if it is start with m that means it is a multiple right so we will assign capital m otherwise we will assign capital b right this is the funda and let me just pull back the oh and you can see first questions here is getting b that means it is a boolean question now if i'll just do uh, if i'm just expanding it nothing actually comes because we don't have anything right now but this is the situation and uh, yeah this is looking fine now um we also get here another property which is children this children is for this expansion tile right where we will display our answers right so we don't have to do a lot of things here but what we will do we will make another widget okay which will actually display the answers for us okay so because every time we will click on that answer it should change its color or something like that so if you remember from the um, demo so so what i am going to use here i am going to make another stateful widget which is going to be answer widget okay when you have a different states to actually take care of then make a separate widget like i am making which is answer widget because here i want to click on one of the answer and then they will change its color um initially there will be a black color but if it is right it will change to green and it uh, otherwise it will change to red so it, it will change its state so rather than um using the state of the parent what you should do you should make it a separate stateful widget so that it can actually take care of its own state it's not the best practice again because uh, there are a lot of things you can do but uh, for the initial part for just for the understanding uh, and as a beginner um, this is a good way and i'll also show you in the future videos that how you can actually improve it right now we will pass the um, list of uh, results here which we which are the answers as well so i'll take the results okay we can and we will pass them all and then we also want the index of that particular question so i'll just say index okay why I'm, I'm making it final because you know it is not supposed to change and now i am also um taking the answer so let's say it's m string m anything whatever you want now uh, we will make a constructor out of it so we can say answer widget okay uh, we can just use i guess this dot results comma this dot index comma this dot m and that's it 
so we have this answer widget ready so not what we want um, in the uh, build of this we want to use now a list style for the answers okay because um, again it's totally your choice if you want to use something else you can directly use a text here because I want to perform on tap on it so it's good like if I can use a text here and on the top of it an, an ink well or probably a gesture detector it's totally your choice whatever you want to use so a lot of options you have so it takes an on tap which is going to be blank as of now but after that we have this title property which we can use here I can specify the text which I want to show so I can just say widget dot m where the text would be there okay and now um, I'll also specify the alignment so text align I can say in the center and then um, we have some style I guess so text style I can just say a color okay let's give it something like black and then it also takes a font weight so I, I you'll just see what result we will be getting from here okay so this is what we have we have this answer widget which is still not working because we haven't used it yet so in the if i'll just click on this expansion tile nothing actually comes but this answer widget is again a stateful widget which takes list of results okay why because uh, i don't know i haven't used it yet uh, but i'll just show you why okay and uh, to check whether the answer is correct or not of this question and then um, it has a list style on top on tap property and we are also passing the answer which it wants to display so here let's go back to this children functionality of uh, this uh, expansion tile what we will do here we will pass um, let's do one thing we will use the mapping here so we'll say results okay index and dot will get all answers which we actually made if you remember it was incorrect answers but we added the correct answer to the list and we converted it to all answers okay and now we will say to map it okay now it will give me the answers every time which will be m that's why i was pass passing that m and here what i can say i can say um let's do like this let's say return answer widget okay answer widget which takes a result okay so we'll pass the result then index and then m that's fine and then uh, let's just use this and then we can just say dot to list so what we are doing here we are passing the results dot answers all answers and we are mapping it every answer with this answer widget so now if i'll just click on it and you can see we have these answers right and in the center as well so that's why we use this text align uh, center and the bold and all the properties we have history medium and everything so all of them starts with m that means these are multiple choice question do we have any b uh, we don't okay we'll get some b again so uh, that's not a problem and now if i will click on any of these nothing actually happens because we are not doing anything on the tab okay so now um why i am also passing this uh, results okay this is the actually the questions okay this results actually carry all the questions why i need that and this index as well so i mean it's it's actually totally valid why i want that i mean i, mean, I don't exactly want this results or the full results but we want something like this this results index right so uh, I'm, I'm passing everything but you don't have to so what we are going to do we will actually check okay so what we will check we will check if this widget dot m which is the correct answer which is the answer if it is if let me just check with widget dot results okay we will pass here um, the widget dot index okay and I'll actually use the correct answer here so if this answer is equal to the correct answer then what I want to do I want to change the color okay now I need some variable for this color right so rather than this color start black I'll replace it with C and here we can just have a color let's say C 
and we will paste it right so this c is initially black now if my answer this answer is equal to the correct answer then we want to say c is equal to colors dot green because it is correct right that's how it works right and if it is not green that means it should be red because it is incorrect right so if it is not equal then green because when we tap on it right so if we are tapping we will checking whether this answer is equal to the correct answer then green otherwise red okay now nothing will work if i'll tap on it let's say i'm tapping on it nothing is actually working because we are not setting this state we are not rebuilding this widget so what we have to do we have to actually use this inside a set state so let's just copy this from here and paste it inside set state and now this will be rebuilding again so what is the punishment for playing poster to in new zealand let's click on it fine of five thousand dollar ten years in prison so let's say second is the right answer or not let's say let's click on it it's the right answer so this this turned into green let's say if i click on fine of five thousand and it is red third should be red fourth should be red so this is how you will change the color by using set state we make uh, we also use this variable which is color c and colors dot black and then we change this color according to the type of answer right this is why i used this kind of and and the second question if you can see there is some uh, html uh, this uh, quotation and everything with the question so that's not our target that's why i'm not covering it so the common software programming acronym and i18n comes from the term interlocalization it is true or false so we know it's true or it's false so it's false so that means it is okay so it is interlocalization and uh, the answer is false so this is how you can actually um, do that right in the super mario bros series what is your she scientific name i don't know what is it is but uh, let's try something and and everything is wrong oh my god i have very bad video games knowledge whatever okay when did the battle of the storm begin history related to history it is easy oh i don't know man so it's not supposed to easy but let's say oh it's it's right it's July first and you can see the answers are random right if i'll just press false it is just uh, luck not every second answer is correct so let's second option is correct let's click on this it is wrong uh, this time the first one is correct in the the creator of the tohu let's say first not second is the correct so every time you you are seeing that we have a different answer uh correct answer right so this is how you can uh, actually uh, make this quiz application with these kind of widgets i hope i was very clear about them even if i was not clear and if, if you missed something then um you can maybe go back to game of thrones and start from there now if you want more question then you can make this amount to 30 maybe or whatever now we have to implement one more thing what we want we want to pull to refresh okay if i am pulling it right now you can see nothing is happening so we want to refresh the question once user actually pull it right so what we are going to do okay we have two more tasks not just one so here in the future builder we will wrap it with a new widget and we will call it refresh indicator and now it takes on refresh a future so we'll just provide it the same future which is um so so basically what we will do fetch question should be there yes fetch question and that's it now if i will just refresh it oh uh, what second first question just see that how many times did oh it is changing every time right let's just refresh it again okay it's working yeah it's working pretty good correct so this is how uh, you will use this this is refresh indicator done now um let's say if i am going to restart it let's let, let me just disable my wi-fi off and now let's do a hot restart and everything will break so certainly we don't have anything because uh in the error state we are just passing a container which is a blank container that's what we are seeing right we want something better than this so what we will use so in that case um let me just use something maybe or uh, um 
so here i will make another method here okay and uh, let's make it something like let's return a pairing error data okay and we'll pass the async snapshot here as well okay or maybe not yes this is fine and here we will return a padding why i want a padding i'll just tell you and uh, in the padding part we want to display something good so um i'll just give it a padding first of all so um 12 i guess would be a good padding then uh, let me just close it and in the child part i can use a column okay and uh, we can say the main axis alignment to be center because in the center i want to show the error okay so now um in the children part i can use a text widget directly and i can specify the error so i can just say error okay a colon and i can use a string interpolation here and i can just say snapshot dot error okay it should give me the error now after that i'll use the sized box to give some height let's say 20 and be after that i'll also give it a raised button okay raised button why so that on press of it i can perform another operation to check right if we got the internet connection back or not and in the child we can specify a text saying try again okay one second this looking good now um rather than this container i'll pass the error data and we are also passing the snapshot oh and you can see this is the exception we are getting socket exception failed host lookup open tdb this is this and try again if i'll click on it nothing actually happened because because we are not doing anything so on pressed what we want to do we want to fetch questions again so um, this is right and now i'll just do a hot reload if i'll press it again nothing actually happening because my wi-fi is still off let me just on it and uh, let's see what happens let me just also clean this terminal debug console basically now let's uh, my wi-fi is back now click on this try again and you can see we got this questions answers but the ui didn't refresh so what we have to do after this fetch question we have to call this set state that is why i made this widget as the uh, stateful widget this home page otherwise there is no reason and we can also improve it in the future this is this is not supposed to be a stateful widget because of this only um, we can change it right this is just for a demonstration so now as soon as i actually let me just turn off turn off the wi-fi again and now if i'll do a hot restart you will see this button now if i'll click on it nothing actually happening it is just refreshing but data is not coming now click let me just own on the wi-fi again and uh, uh, it is taking some time just wait for a few seconds uh, now wi-fi is on now let's click on this try again and now you can see the indicator again and it is working pretty well right so how are you, how is it? it are you enjoying or something <laughs> yeah it's good so in this part i guess this expansion tile this column can have some padding as well because uh, it's just not good okay now let's see if we can get uh, some big cards yeah this is looking much better now so we have the sufficient padding let me just try this and it is working as well okay in this year this is this, this this we have some question false true and it is b so and it is m second one it is related to history and we have a right answer then the third one okay we have okay and fourth one is the correct one why the fourth one always the correct one or oh, third one now finally so that means we are getting some random answers oh fourth one is most of the time it is the correct one but uh, an egg plant is vegetable false okay so i'm actually enjoying it you will also enjoy so that's how you can make a quiz application in that manner and it is kind of good um, source code is available on github so you can try that you can play with it and also if you enjoyed this video then do subscribe to the channel like this video and also uh, try to um, 
um, implement such examples to understand uh, more about Flutter and also gonna bring uh, advanced tutorial as well so don't worry about that maybe a course as well so a lot of things I have in my mind but because of the shortage of time I cannot do all the stuff and also about the giveaway it is uh, I am going to announce it very soon so still if you haven't um, participated in the giveaway you can still do that uh, either on this video or on Game of Thrones video so I'll, I'll suggest to go on Game of Thrones video and in the comment just you have to write why you love flutter and uh, and you have to be a subscriber of the channel as well so that's that's one thing and in fact in this video as well you should write why you love flutter why you love mtech viral or whatever you want to say so we'll definitely choose uh, not just one winner i, I am i'm actually thinking about choosing more winners and doing more giveaways of uh, not just flutter t-shirt but to some cool uh, tech related stuff so that's it about this video i hope you enjoyed and thank you so much happy diwali to you and your family i'm going to usa i'll make some videos there and i'll post that as well thank you so much for joining guys have a good time and uh, okay, take care